irrigation, and its methods. We are aware, that all living beings, need water to live, and, that water, is important for proper growth, and development, of flowers, fruits, and seeds of plants. The plant roots, absorb water, and also, the minerals, and fertilizers dissolved in it. These are transported, to all the parts of the plant. Water protects the crop, from frost, and hot air currents. Plants contain, 90% of water. Water is essential, for germination of seeds. Dry conditions, do not support germination. Thus, fields should get, regular supply of water, so that, the moisture, of the soil, is maintained, and growth of crop, is healthy. Supply of water, to crops, at different intervals, is called irrigation. Its time, and frequency, varies from crop to crop. Soil to soil, and season to season. Note that, in summer, the frequency of watering plants, is higher. Why is it so? Bob exclaims, to his teacher that, last summer his plants, dried up, and died. He wishes to know, the reason. The teacher, explains that, during summer, the rate of evaporation of water, from the soil, and the leaves, increases. As such, during summer, plants should be watered, more often. Having studied, about irrigation, let us now find out, its sources. They are, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams, canals, wells, and tube wells. Now about, its methods. The methods of irrigation, can be broadly divided, into traditional, and modern methods. In these methods, water from the wells, lakes, and canals, is drawn up, by different ways, in different regions, and then, taken to the fields. The different traditional ways are, moat, or pulley system, chain pulley, dakely, and, lever system. These methods, are cheaper because, cattle, or human labor, is used. However, they are, less efficient. To lift water, from the sources, pumps, that run with the help of diesel, biogas, electricity, and, solar energy, are commonly used.